So on my router, I need to configure the router with TACX information. So something like this. Router needs an IP address. I want to create a backup username in case the TACX server is not available. I want to enable AAA. I want to create a AAA server group for TACX. I want to specify my TACX server, IP address of the TACX server and the password to use to connect to the TACX server. You may want to set your TACX server IP address manually. In this example, the TACX server is configured to use DHCP, which is fine for this lab, but you may want to configure IP addresses manually rather than using DHCP. But that's okay for what I'm doing for this lab. But just be aware that if your server IP address changes, you'll need to change this information. So just to confirm, TACX server IP address is this. So that's correct. So what I'm going to do is say username, backup, specify a password of backup. This user account will only be used when the AAA server is not available. So AAA new model to enable AAA, AAA group, server, TACX plus, group name will be GNS3 group here, server name will be TACX, GUI, so TACX, server, TACX, GUI, address, IPv4, 192.168.122.105, the key will be Cisco. And the last thing I want to do is enable AAA authentication, login, default, group, GNS3 group, and I want to use local as a backup. What I also want to do is allow all protocols in on the VTY lines. So if I go show run, begin VTY, before I log out of the console, I want to test that this works by telnetting to myself. So I'm going to telnet to the local router and I'm going to log in as user one, password Cisco. And notice I was able to log in because the integration with the TACX server is already working. So just to prove that, I'll do a debug, TACX, telnet, to myself, notice we can see that we've received authentication response, get username. So the username will be user one. We see the password prompt over there and notice we've received an authentication response, get password. So I'll put in the password of Cisco and notice I was able to log in. Notice received authentication response status pass. So I was able to log into the router using the username on the TACX server. I'll turn off debugging and telnet to myself again and try and log in with the backup username and password. And notice that fails because the TACX server is available. This can only be used if the TACX server is not available. So I've jumped back to the console. I'll disconnect the current telnet line I'll enable debugging of TACX again, and I'll telnet back to myself. So in other words, back to the router, and I'll log in with the backup username. So notice here, logging in with backup. Password prompt is shown over there. We told that the TACX server wants the password. I'll log in with the backup password. Notice password is incorrect. TACX server is asking for the password again. So backup, password is incorrect. Notice we now prompt for our username. So TACX server is telling the router to prompt for the username. So in this case, I'll specify user one. Password prompt is shown over there. I'll log in with the password of Cisco. I can now log in successfully to the TACX server or should I say to the router. Enable password, 
notice error in authentication. So let's go back to the TACAC server. I'll log back in, go to my users. And what I'll do here is create a user group called GNS3 users. Enable password will be Cisco. Set this as clear text. Add the group. So I've got a GNS3 users group. Go to users, edit this user and put them in the GNS3 users group. What I could also do here is say, create a message, hello, welcome to the TACAX GUI or some kind of message and click edit user. So the user is now part of GNS3 users. I have to go to apply changes, uncheck this and click apply to apply the configuration. So on the router, I'll exit back to the console. So no VTY line connections are currently active. Telnet back to the router. Username will be user one. Password will be Cisco. I am now on the console of the router. Type enable. Notice I'm getting error in authentication. And that's probably because I didn't set up enable authentication on the router. Notice I've only got a login here. So AAA authentication, enable default group, GNS3. The group I'm gonna use is GNS3 group, which is my TACAX group. And then I'll use local as a backup. Or should I say enable password as a backup? So, at the moment, I don't have an enable password configured on the router. So no enable or no secret is currently configured. Show run pipe include enable, no enable passwords, no secret passwords are configured on the router. But what I'll do is telnet back to the router. Login as user one, login as user one password, which is Cisco. I'm now on the user console and I'll type enable. Notice I'm now prompted for a password. Notice here the default TACAX group GNS3 group is being used. Authentication is going to the TACAX server. Authentication has passed. So I am now in privilege mode. Notice show line shows me that I'm connected to the VTY line. I'll exit back to the console. Show line, I'm not on the VTY line anymore. And notice, just to prove the point, notice there is no enable password configured on the router and there's no secret password configured on the router. But when I telnet to the router, I can log in as user one, password of Cisco, and I can type enable and specify my password because it's going via the TACAC server. I'll just turn off debugging so that you can see that again. I'm back on the console. No VTY lines currently open. Telnet to myself. Login is user one. Password is Cisco. Type enable. Password of Cisco. I'm able to go to enable mode or privilege mode on the router. And that's again because I'm being authenticated via the TACAC server. Now, if there was a problem with the link to the TACAC server, so let's say I deleted this link and I went back to the console of the router, telneted to myself. Notice there's a long delay now as the router tries to get to the TACAC server. I can now log in as backup because the TACAC server is not available. Type enable, notice I get error in authentication and that's because there is no enable password on the router. If I type enable password Cisco now, telnet to myself, so in other words, telnet to the router, takes a long time to try and show the password prompt. It's now showing because the router cannot connect to the TACAC server 
And when I type enable now, it can't get to the TACAC server. It's using the backup of the local password. So I can go to enable mode. So just to make the point again, if I type show run pipe include AAA, the router is trying to use TACAX first for login. If it's not available, then it reverts to the local username and password. For enable, it tries to use the TACAX server. If that's not available, it uses the enable password as a backup. But if the TACAX server is available, I won't be able to use the local username and password of backup. So Telnet back to myself, try and log in as backup. Notice the password fails because the TACAC server is now available. So I have to log in with the username user1 and the password Cisco. Enable, I have to use the password on the TACAC server. This TACAC GUI makes it very easy to use and test TACAC in GNS3 topologies. You can add multiple devices here. You can create device groups. You can add multiple users. You can change access rules if you want to. You can change other information on your user accounts. Notice as an example here, the hello message is displayed. So if I change that to something like, this is a cool TACAX server and click edit user and apply the changes that should be shown when I log in. So I'm currently on the VTY. I'll go back to the console. Login is user one, password is Cisco. Notice the message is now displayed as per the information on the TACAC server. Very nice TACAC server software that you can use as part of your Genius 3 topologies. The big tip is make sure that you uncheck this checkbox when you click apply. Whenever you make changes to your TACAC server, make sure that you apply your changes. So as an example, if I created another user here, user two, I'll need to apply those changes. And I'll need to make sure that I don't make a backup when I apply those changes. So user two is now created. Click apply changes, uncheck this, click apply. Changes have now been applied. I could do a test and then click apply to make sure that the changes are applied. I'll go back to the console, tell it to the router, but log in as user two. And notice I can log in as user two on the VTY line. Great piece of software. Thanks to everyone who contributes to the Genius3 community. Remember, you can also contribute with support, appliances, and other options to make Genius3 better for all of us. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wanna wish you all the very best.